We continue to preview the college football season here on Midwest Sportsnet, and you'll notice that I did not say 2023 college football season. We're going to bypass that and go straight into 2024. Our stop today is Fulton, Missouri, and we get to introduce for the first time on this channel Julian Mendez, who is the inaugural head coach for the William Woods Owls. Coach, let's start right there. Congratulations on the new gig. I appreciate you. It's it's uh, it's something that I'm I'm extremely excited about, um, and I have to thank uh, Dr. Moreland and uh, Director of Athletics Steve Wilson. That I mean, it's it's something that uh, the opportunity came about, and it it was a no brainer to me. Um, being on campus, seeing Fulton, Missouri, seeing seeing the woods was was an exciting time for me, and it it made sense. Um, and just had to jump at the opportunity. Um, extremely excited to get this going, and and looking for that fall of twenty four to get here. It's going to get here before you know it, Coach. <laughs> really <There's>, quick. <laughs> there's no question. A little more than thirteen months away. But let's uh, let's look ahead again in just a moment. Right now, let's start talking. Uh, by talking where you are at this moment, July 1st mm -hmm. officially took over that position as the head football coach there. A new program. What have you been doing for the last couple of weeks? Yeah, um, I mean, the first thing was to make sure and get not only my name out there, but but also within William Woods football out there uh, to make sure to reach all the avenues as possible, utilize social media as best as possible to make sure that that we were a known factor in, in understanding that that William Woods football is here. Um, that was that was a fun part about doing that is is making sure and just publicizing. OK, um, trying to reach all the avenues as possible. Um, our real big stamp is trying to get ourselves within an area of a of a five hour radius of Fulton, Missouri. Um, you know, I really want to stake claim and, and William Woods football wants to stake claim in Fulton and the surrounding areas to make sure it gives another opportunity for student athletes to utilize football to get a to get an education. Um, I think that's something that's that's a huge aspect that I think can be lost sometimes within athletics. And I think it gives us an opportunity. And, and for me, as, as having that opportunity as a student athlete to get a degree, um, I think that's what the biggest part for me is, is to make sure we're utilizing this great game um, to be able to get a degree, get, get that education and work for the next 40 years of our lives. A five-hour radius, then, if we stay yeah. right there for just a moment, that would encompass the entirety of the Show Me State. So, I mean, I'm you're looking at recruiting all over the state and, of course, a few states beyond. But do you want to put your footprint there as well? Yeah, I think the biggest part when when you're somewhere, and I think if you're going to start a program, is making sure that the state knows that that's home. And we want to keep as many football players from the Show Me State to stay here. Um, if we can have that, I think that's that's a big aspect that we want to do. Um, it, it puts that claim to keep those student athletes here in the state have making sure then now their families can come watch them play at any point in time and then i've always been a big fan of the natural rivalries the natural aspects of teammates going to play with teammates teammates playing against each other um that that's something that i really do appreciate um because i think not only does that increase what the flow is going on on campus but then it just to me student athletes play a little bit harder when they know their family, friends, community members are, are in the stands. And I think that has a big, big part of what we want to be known for here. I know you're familiar with the area anyway, as you were most recently coaching on the college level mm -hmm. in Ottawa, which you are an alum uh, mm -hmm. of Ottawa University there in Kansas. You were most recently coaching in Odessa, Texas, a 6A program, and 6A football in Texas is just something else. Well, high school football yes. in the state of Texas, it, it's it's its own animal it uh, in and of itself. But you're not unfamiliar with this area right now anyway. Yeah, and I think that's, that's a fun part too is with being at Ottawa was – we had our opportunities to recruit into the state of Missouri, um, obviously within the metro area, but then getting down into Springfield area, getting as far in, into St. Louis. Um, I, as a teammate, I've had teammates that played in St. Louis, teammates that obviously played all around the Kansas-Missouri border. Um, and so when also I was at a Division II in Oklahoma and we recruited that southwest area of Missouri a ton to be able to get those athletes over. So I've had the experience to see what the state can do. And now it's just a little, a little bit more to be able to be in the state and now be able to attract them to, like I said, stay home. And from William Woods to Ottawa, it's within that five hour radius coach. So 
you know, there may be a little recruiting battle going with the yeah. folks from uh, from the other home, but we'll 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 let that happen. In time. We're speaking yeah. with uh, with Julian Mendez here on Midwest Sports Net on the Summit, and I encourage you please continue to watch the videos here. We're previewing the 2023 college football season, looking ahead to 24 right now, uh, Coach. As uh, you look ahead a little bit, I, I know you you've got all the so many details that you have to go over, but I'm sure some folks would like to know. Where are you going to be playing? Where are you going to be practicing? What are your facilities looking like? Yeah, and so that's that's where new football program, those things are happening right now. I know we're taking bids to be able to not only do turf here on campus, but then eventually some more facilities that will happen on campus. Um, I believe our bids go until the end of the month. Um, and then um, Director of Athletics Steve Wilson is going to be able to make sure and, and choose and with, with – everybody in the board be able to choose that best bid to work and move forward. But right now we have the opportunity of having soccer field, a practice field that's right next to it. But looking at games towards 24 is being able to utilize the area. You know, if we have the ability to get to two area high schools that have really great facilities, because there are some great facilities here just within probably 30 minutes of campus, you know, you're able to utilize that. And to me, I think you're able to utilize a little bit of a, a backhanded recruiting aspect, too, by being on campus, showing what we're trying to do football wise here um, and starting that. And then now that's, you know, we want to bring William Woods to you. And that's the best case scenario right there. Um, so I'm going to try to bring William Woods to every single town in Missouri as I can. And I think that brings it as, as best as possible. So within those opportunities, we're going to look at and see what best fits everything that we can do, but um, look out for us everywhere in Missouri. I like that. That's great. That's a great recruiting motto. That's uh, that's mm. something fun. And I'm sure for the, for the recruits and the kids themselves, it will be. Uh, Coach, as we talk about facilities, we also would want to look ahead because the schedule, I'm sure, is in the works. Uh, mm. Things trying to get some games set up. And I would imagine you're also looking to be a part of a conference as mm -hmm. well from the football perspective. I know mm -hmm. Woods is part of a conference, but from the football perspective, uh, is there anything in the works right now? Yeah, there's, there is in talks with conferences in the works right now um, to trying to figure out what the best fit, not only for us, but just being able to make sure that it makes sense for the university, um, makes sense for all of our athletic department programs as well. So um, we're looking to do that once once I know and once it's all set in stone, uh, you'll know as well once we make that announcement. All right. We, we want to break news here on. Yes, here. exactly. I, I'll try to do that. Give you that. I'll give you that sneak peek. <laughs> all right, Coach. One last question then, as it is just 13 months away from now. And, and I know and have experienced so many times a year can go by so quickly. Mm -hmm. And in this next 13 months, what do you do to put your stamp on this program? And what will that stamp look like for recruits and families coming in? What do you hope to uh, to show them about William Woods football? football? I think the, the biggest part is, is that, you know, it, it's a really short time within that 13 months, but I have to, and once I'm able to get full staff working on campuses, is become ingrained not only in the community of William Woods, but then in the community of Fulton making sure that we're making our impact here on campus in the community so that when our players are coming in, that they know that that's the, the culture stamp that we're trying to make. We're making a positive impact on campus in the community and that stretches beyond the field, beyond the classroom. Um, I think that's what we have to do right away um, to make sure that we're gonna have that impact on the field is to make sure that all the little bits and pieces that we can do to make sure that now our factors is, is hits a little bit bigger. Um, and I think that starts with me. I think me being able to be out in the community, me being at every single sporting event possible here on campus. Um, I'm a big follower. I'm a big athletics person. You know, I want to be everywhere. You know, you're going to see me yelling at basketball games. You're going to see me yelling at volleyball games. That's just who I am. Uh, you know, my wife is a collegiate head softball coach. And so I'm going to be at softball games. I mean, that's just, it, it is what it is. That's what's ingrained in me to be a part of a community is, is I am the biggest fan. That's just who I am. Um, and so I want our players to be in that factor, to have that, you know, I want our gym here to be pumped full. You know, when you bring in 100 to 115 football players, it starts looking a little bit different in a gym. Um, and I think that that puts that part into it. Um, but those little things are going to start making that impact 
then now we're going to feel that culture. Cause I think the culture here on campus already is a culture of a family. And then now we get to bring in a football culture, which, you know, is something even more and, and kind of ingrained within that. And now we get to be a, become a part of it and show them a little bit more diff- tradition that is football, that is college athletics. Because, you know, I think about a Saturday afternoon and getting to watch a football game. I mean, there's there's hardly anything better. You know, and this campus hasn't seen that. You know, that's that's something that I'm truly excited about. But first and foremost, it has to be what can I do here to help William Woods University athletics, you know, um, within the academic programs. Everybody that I've met on campus is so excited about it, you know, from from every single piece and every single aspect. You know, we have equestrian science here on campus. I can't wait to go over to the stables and go see what's going on over there because I think that's exciting. Um, you know, I, that's one of the few things here that goes on. We have big majors of equestrian science and then ASL. You know, we have the Missouri School for the Death here in Fulton. That's that's something that, you know, I want to make sure that, that we're working to because I'm an offensive minded person. I'm thinking of ASL. I'm thinking about new signals to be able to work from the sidelines. You know, I'm like, you know, this works a little bit more with me. Um, but really, it's just bringing a, a whole lot of positivity, a whole lot of fun. You know, we, we speak family first here within everything that we do. Um, respect within our pillars, accountability to each other. And at the end of the day is competition. Because, um, you know, as long as they're going to keep score, you know, we want to win and we want to go ahead and put a um, quality um, product on the field for everybody and quality everywhere. So a long roundabout way is just we want to be ingrained in the community and 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 have fun and be able to show the city of Fulton um, what William Woods football is all about. Coach, I like the long roundabout way. That's that's what we want to hear. We and the, the visuals there are great. First off, you're already repping uh, with yeah. the William Woods right now, and yeah. you're doing a fantastic job of that. But we want to see some pictures at the yes. basketball and volleyball games too, and in the stables uh, as as. Yes. And I would throw out one more thing, too, really quickly. I coached high school basketball for seven years. I did use ASL from the sidelines uh, yep. for some of our calls because it worked. And yes. uh, I appreciated that. I love yeah. that. I think that's fantastic. Yeah. Coach Julian Mendez, the new head coach for William Woods football. It's inaugural season in 2024, and we are looking forward to following you when that time comes. In the meantime, we hope to get to visit with you again and talk about the progress of the program. Thanks for being on with us today, Coach. I, I appreciate you having us. I appreciate what you do in promoting small college athletics um, and, and helping us put William Woods football out there. Thank you, Coach.